Hi, welcome to Slippery Chicken Barbecue. Today we're making baked beans my way. Baked up be a movie, okay? To make these baked beans, I put some chopped up bacon, it's about a quarter pound or so, and uh, put it in a saucepan. When the fat starts to render like this, then I uh, add my onions. I have uh, one onion here. And I want to uh, saute these onions until they get, I don't know, translucent. The thing is, you don't want to cook the bacon too much because you want all that fat to render into the beans. So, cook the onions a little bit here. And I'll be back. Okay, I have my onions looking a little translucent there. So we'll, uh, now I want to add um, this minced chopped garlic, about three cloves. And uh, I want to mix that in and cook this for about another minute. All right, after about a minute's gone by, we're gonna take this off the heat. We're going to uh, assemble my beans and I'm gonna put on the grill. I'm gonna just put them in this uh, boil pan. Just making a small batch, so you know, otherwise I'd use a larger um, cast iron pan. I'm going to add my beans. I have uh, navy beans, white beans. And some kidney beans, red kidney beans. And a can of pinto beans. Now, my uh, other ingredients, let's add uh, some yellow mustard, I don't know, about a quarter cup. Uh, this is some older barbecue sauce, uh, let's see, this one's roasted garlic honey, uh, I need to use this up, so put that in there. I also like to uh, use up some of my older rubs. This, is, this one happens to be uh, Draper's Barbecue. Let's put it all in there. And uh, I'm going to add some molasses. As you see, I don't really measure much for this. You know, about a quarter cup. When I make my beans, I just make them the way I like. And uh, this is uh, apple cider vinegar. Oh, yeah, that's about a quarter cup or so. And of course, one of the other main ingredients is uh, brown sugar. And we want to get about, I like my little sweet, so got a good, good cup of sugar put in there. That's what I consider a small batch, so. <laughs> And we'll mix that all up, get it ready, bring it out to the grill. Okay, I, I want to get these beans on. And, uh, we're going to put these beans on the same time that, uh, 
cook these ribs. And we're going to cook them for about three, four hours. I want them to reduce down. Now those ribs are on, on another video, so you have to check that video out. We'll be back to check on them later. Okay, checking on these uh, these beans, and uh, they're looking good. I need them to uh, simmer a little bit more, so I'm probably going to put them closer to the heat. Okay, these beans are they're not thickening up like I really want them to. They're getting their liquid starting to get that dark look. But I think what I'm going to do here is uh, get that water pan out of the smokinator, and I should have just kept this as the water pan. But we'll, uh, we'll change it up a little bit. Might have to cook a little bit longer, but we'll get it fixed. Now I'm going to place these beans directly over. Well, not directly over, but close where the coals are. And uh, let's see if we can get them simmering a little bit more. Put that lid on. Keep everything cooking. Let's see how these beans are doing. Oh yeah, now they're simmering really good. Cook down a little bit, so I'm gonna turn them around. They're gonna cook down fine now. Be back checking on them again, about an hour. Okay, these beans are doing great now. Simmering really good. I'm going now add my last ingredient. And I have some uh, leftover pulled pork. I'm going to add that to the mix. This will really add to the beans here. I'm losing light. And these beans are actually done. Nice and thickened up here like I like. And uh, I'll take them in the house where you can see them a lot better. Okay, I brought these beans in the house, and you can see they turned out really nice. They thickened up like I wanted to. Let's give them a try. Oh, oh yeah, they're fabulous. Oh yeah, definitely slippery chicken approved.